Hey everyone, welcome back again. So today in this video, we are going to talk about how to download Cloud Data Quick Start VM in your system. So without wasting time, we are going to see the steps where we will follow in the video. So in the first step, you have to download and install VirtualBox in your system. So to do that, go to Google and go on this link, uh, VirtualBox. I will put this link in the description box and you can find your operating system and download the package according to that. So since my operating system is a Windows OS, so I will choose this option. So if I click here, then you can see that here my download is started. Since I had already installed this in my system, so I am not going to install it again. So I will cancel it here. And so installation is not a big deal. So you can only click on next, next, next and install. Then it will easily get installed in your system. So after installing the virtual box, you have to now download the Cloud Era Quick Start VM. So in the second step, you have to download Cloud Era Quick Start VM. So to do this, you have to go on this link. I will put this link also in the description box. And you have to download this file. Since this file is approximately 5.5 GB, this will take a little bit of time. So now we have downloaded our file. So to see the downloaded file, you have to click here and go to show in folder. So this is the downloaded file which I had downloaded. So copy this to your any specific folder. So I will keep this here. Okay. So make a new folder, new folder and name this as Cloudera installation. You can name this folder according to your choice. So and now paste it here. And now you have to extract this one. So ex extract this file here. So this will take a little bit of time. So in the meantime, we will try it to understand why we need cloud data in our local system. So because uh, many of the cloud services are only available in the online system like AWS, GCP or Azure. Since many of the folks have not uh, prior experience in those fields, since they have no account on AWS or GCP or Azure or they have not any access to credit card to make account there. So, to practice the cloud things and uh, take a feel of that, you need to install the cloud data in your local system and this will give you the same feeling of uh, online things in your local system. So, cloud data is a very good thing to uh, start with if you are a beginner and also for uh, pro ones, uh, uh, if you need to practice this in your local system, this will be very good. Now you can see that, now you can see that our file is extracted and in this folder. So open this folder, open it again and you can see these two files here. Now to install the Cloud Era Quick Start VM, you have to open this file. So double click on this file and this will get open in the virtual box. So here is the setup you can change while installation. So this is the name you can change. So keep this as default. You can give number of CPU cores to this virtual machine. So I am giving two CPU cores and I am giving approximately 6 GB of RAM to this because my system has approximately 16 GB of RAM and this will at least require 8 GB of RAM of your system. So now click on finish. Keep everything as default and click on finish. So this will take some time to import all the necessary files. So now all files are seems to be imported and to start this machine you have to simply double click here. So now our cloud era system is installed and it is open. So here is the bonus part I want to give you to guys that uh, by default this will this not support the full screen so if i do the full screen mode here and i will 
switch it so you can see that only very small portion of your screen is getting covered by the cloud data so to do the full screen stuff so to make the cloud data full screen you have to go to the devices and here you have to choose the insert guest edition cd image now you can see that a file is created on your desktop so simply right click here and choose browse folder and here we have to click open in terminal and run this file auto run dot sh so to run this one okay and then click and by default if any times you need the password in cloud era the cloud era is itself the password cloud era and i will authenticate this now this step is done and uh, if you again choose the full screen mode let's see this is happening or not so we are getting some error so to fix this error you need to simply restart your system so to restart your system go to shutdown and click on restart so our system is now restarted and if you now click on full screen mode and click on switch here then you can see that the full, full screen mode is working perfectly now we will check uh, our Hadoop or big data systems are working perfectly on this or not so we will check HDFS, DFS, LS and on so now you can see that the HDFS command is running perfectly so now we have completely installed the cloud data on our local system so hope you have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video